container trucks and large cargo carriers are nowadays no stranger to Chinese roads. With the increasing demand for logistics brought about by the economic growth, but the heavy trucks literally put a lot of pressure on the roads, eventually creating indentations that could require a large amount of asphalt concrete to repair. But now there are greener solutions. This is Shanghai's first highway with all its layers maintained by renewable materials. Located in Shanghai's suburban Fengxian district, the Hongtan Highway is home to multiple logistics and industrial firms, and a key focus of the area's economic development. That means maintenance of the 16-year-old highway is crucial, and makes it a perfect place to try out some new renewable solutions. In 2020, we had already applied green technology trials on another road, but that was just limited to the substrate. This year, we've made huge breakthroughs on this road, applying renewable materials to all its layers. Figuring out the right percentage of recycled materials to add to the asphalt was quite a challenge. In the past, we usually used 10% recycled materials, but this time it's 15%. We specifically recycled waste material for this project, from removed components like bridges, plate girders, and curbs. We moved them to our crusher, and then, after the materials got inspection approval, they could be used in roads maintenance. So far, the flexibility values are up to standard. Making these technologies available for wider use has now become a research topic, in cooperation with the Shanghai Research Institute of Building Sciences. We have been paying attention to the utilization of recycled materials since 2015. And there is an increasing amount of waste materials around. Not using renewable technologies means that last year, for example, we used more than 26,000 tons of asphalt and more than 43,000 tons of gravel. They were estimated to have created carbon emissions of around 35,000 tons. The renewable technologies could help reduce at least 30% of that. According to the Ministry of Ecology and Environment. China has achieved average annual economic growth of 6.6 percent in the past 10 years, with a yearly increase of only 3 percent in energy consumption. These new construction and maintenance solutions will help pave the way for China's dual carbon goals, reaching carbon emissions peak by 2030 and carbon neutrality by 2060.